Greetings, dear, beautiful, precious spirit soul that you are. <coughs> My message. Be willing to receive. That's it. Be willing to receive. Before you can give, you have to receive. Now, what does that mean? It means that in order to give, you have to know that you have something to give, right? So if you have something to give, you have to have received it or actually more than that, recognize that you have it. And then by giving it, in a sense, you're not giving yourself away, but you are offering something to someone that can benefit them in some way. But, so you have to be willing, I got something in my eye, okay, to receive. And when you find people who are miserly or greedy or um, what we say, um, criminal in a sense, they take from others without, because they're, they aren't there to give value, they're there to take. They may pretend they're giving value, but they're not. They're, they're there to take from you. And when people don't know that they have, then, who they are, their powers and their abilities, then they're also trying to get these qualities and abilities from someone or something out there. So they're in a state of poverty. I don't accept that in the Bible, I know in the New Testament, someone says poverty will always be with you. No, that's not true because you take a look at the people that do all the translating, have all the money to do all the printing. They can just make changes here and there or whatever they want to do. But you know what? You always know the truth right here. That when, when it ever says something, the sick will always be with you. That No, that is not true. They're, they're, we are eternal divine beings. And somehow or other, we found ourselves here. Now, the key is to activate all of our divine qualities and powers and abilities. And the first you have to know what you already have. And the, the giving of it is that there are people that they're so impoverished in spirit, they don't, they don't even empower others. They're so afraid that others will have more than they, they can't even give a compliment. Or they'll give a compliment thinking that's enough when actually the person, you know, the person is giving and needs something in return that's going to help that person. The real art of giving and receiving. And when we're in the flow of giving and receiving, you see, the joy is in actually the giving. And one of my thoughts, or not thoughts, or awarenesses, is how we transcend the money system is shift everything to gifting. And what that means in gifting, and you actually can give, uh, you, like what, what for 10 to 14, 15 thousand dollars a year to as many people as you want, and none of those people have to pay tax on that money because it's a gift? Well, that's interesting. Now, if we start gifting, instead of thinking we're paying and all of this, we're grateful. I, used to, I write thank you under my name on a second check because you're starting to appreciate what you're getting. Then you also become more conscious of what you are getting. How is that working for you to, to give you the life you desire? So anyway, to be a receiver, you have to really acknowledge and recognize your source and your divine partner. Or otherwise, you're making money your God. You're making your portfolio your God. You're making your investments your God. You're making your mindset your God. You're always living in fear of not having enough in the future. So right now you're already suffering that you don't have enough because you're already accepting some loss, you see. So that whole key is to build that consciousness of prosperity, which is the, con the consciousness of having, which is the consciousness of of, of your nature is giving. That's who you are. And what happens with the miserly, they are very fear-ridden people. They make themselves sick from fear. 
the fear of loss, the fear of lack, the fear of being alone. And you can see it in their energy field. And they ooze it out and they have a resentment that is there. And then a sense of usury of others, but never a real sense of their own power and their own beauty and who they really are. So the real thing is to enrich yourself through the receiving that you also allow people to give to you and you also appreciate whatever it is that's, that, you know, is a gift. It's like, yeah, and then even with your partner and, and your beloved that you don't take everything for granted in that sense. It's always a thank you for that and I appreciate that and then giving something is a gift in return. And that is when we start getting into gifting, we're going back to our original nature, whether it's bartering or trading or sharing or giving. And then you're in a state of acknowledgement when you do give of the abundance that you have that is overflowing. The abundance of love and the abundance of caring and the abundance of joy and the abundance of fun and the abundance of, uh, what would you say, of... Uh, of life because you are life yeah be grateful and knowing and if you don't know to give is because you don't know who you are and then you can see it the person suffering and miserly and all it's like Scrooge you know you do counting everything and everything and all that kind of stuff you just being Scrooge I just saw that little movie and then because it's almost like that's gonna make me happy it doesn't mean giving it all away in that sense. That's not what it is. But it's knowing who you are and using whatever is here to support you in attaining the full God realization of your true divine self eternally now. Yeah.